this is a DIY in the review of this powder, glow powder. It's really cool. Take a look. Okay, today we're gonna do the glow powder on the pellets. Right there. Okay, I think I got all the tools I need. I heard the powder is very hard to handle because it's so fine. I'm gonna see if I can do this at one shot, one take. Okay. Okay, so I ordered this, uh, it's very hard to say this name. I guess this name is. I'm gonna get my post up. That's the name. Stu Art Sample. Stu Art Sample. Like student art sample. Sample. So you can order this on their website. Um, their website is Culture Hostel. Okay. I believe I ordered this. I ordered one order. I made one order for one this and one this for $38, I think. Can't remember. But they accidentally sent me two. So that means more powder for me. I can ship it back, but I mean, why ship it back if they send me two? If anyone need any of this, because I only need a little bit, you can message me, Instagram or YouTube. I'll maybe do a little baggie, and uh, I'll sell it to you for like $5 um, for a little bit. Or I will mix one up for you, and maybe sell you, you know, whatever it costs me plus shipping. And that'll be kind of fun. So I'm going to try this. I know uh, Ekon Waishi has already tried this. Um, this is his recommendation. So I'm going to try this myself. I have a little bit clear coat left for the instant dry you nail know, polish. I think I've, I've been thinking for a while, and I actually went and got the drops. Okay, I got these drops at uh, Walmart, like two dollars, I believe. So I'm going to pull the drops out. And the drops, uh, I believe it's in the eye drop session section. I don't know why it's in the eye drop section. I don't even know why they have this. Period. But there's there's the drops. So that way, okay, come in come in this two different shape. So I might use this one. I like I like this one. This one's okay. Yeah. So let's try. It. Um, First of all, there's a couple ways I can do it. I don't want to waste this, not using it. It's, it's, a, it's a paint thing. See, super flat, super matte, aquatic base paint. So it, it's, a, it's a white aquatic paint we use in school. And there's this uh, powder, okay? I haven't do open box one, so this will be together with open box video. We'll open this. This is fairly easy, we'll do this one. White ceramic, paint. Most of you have used this before. If you ever paint oil painting or ceramic painting, this is basically what that is, but it's, it's flat. This, I'm a little scared to open this. I heard this pickles everywhere, but let's try this little plastic piece on the side. Oh crap, yeah, the powder, you see the powder? The plastic wrapping was meant so the powder won't come out, even so. I mean, the powder is fine powder. So yeah, so there's that, okay. I haven't done anything yet. There's already powder on this certain wrap. Can suck this up. Okay, doesn't doesn't work. So let's try it. It's 50, 50 grand of store R sample. 50 grand. Okay, let's continue. Oh my goodness. What's happening? Okay. Mm. Okay, the powder is everywhere. Okay, so it is like that gun like she said. The, this is horrible. Powder is very fine. I'm gonna attempt to get this thing in there. So let's start with this. If I stick this in, eject this thing in, stick this in, eject. I guess it works. I just have to knock it. It does go in. It's such a fine powder, it's insane. I don't know the ratio, but I'm gonna see. I think I have a general idea. How much this will need. First time. I think that's enough powder. One more. Okay, so I'm not sure how many how many hit that is. I have to review the video back. But that's that. And let's pull the rest of this on the table. I don't think this thing will even pick up. No, a little, yeah, it will. 
We got to speed out the video. Let's see, let's, let's see you guys watching. Let's see if I can get all this thing in here. Build this thing out. Try something stupid. See if we can dump that in there. Hmm, it worked. So I did salvage about 70 80 percent, whatever that is. Then I'm going to close this back up, shake it up. I think it would be nice to have some aging in it. Um, flat white acrylic. So I'm gonna add a flat white. Oh wow, this doesn't. This thing doesn't want to go in. It's not a bomb, so that's a good thing. I just hold the mouth of this and squeeze it in. And check this thing all the way in there. Basically mixing paint. Then I can I can do more. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like a. Oh, I never smelled paint smell this good. It smells like um, hair salon. Oh wow. Oh wow. It smells like a shampoo. Good for him. This is awesome. Because typical acrylic paint smells horrible. This thing smells so good. I like hair salon. Okay. But well, how do you doubt this guy would think? He encouraged people to use this in different ways. Like Egon said, I highly doubt this guy know we're using this to shoot squirrels, raccoons, and quitters. He might be okay with it. Who knows? Everyone's weird. We're weird. So, okay. Got some of that in there. I want to get more. I want to fill this bottle with. Okay, I think that's enough. So I'm gonna wipe this top off. So I got some of those in here. This smells super good. The whole room smells like hair salon right now. And then I get this thing back in there. And shake it up. So with the white acrylic base and this powder, I think adding the white is a good idea. Everything glows up pretty good. Okay. Okay, I replaced it with a new uh, sewing wrap. And I got a baggie because it's just this thing is crazy. Let's see if I can fit this thing here. Please fit. Please fit. Please fit in the baggie. Oh yes! It does fit in the baggie. Okay, it fits in the baggie. It's gonna live in the baggie for a while because this powder is crazy. Okay. The other one, I'm going to bag it after the video. So, I shake this a few times, maybe like a minute or so. Um, let's see how it looks. I'm going to turn the lights off. Pull the blind. Oh wow, it glowed. Look at that. It's glowing. Well, it's not very even at the moment because I'm not shaking it very well. But it is glowing. Nice. I'm going to shake for a while, maybe 10 minutes, come back in the video, and then I'm going to try to put this on the back of the pallet. Okay, so I got two baggies. Back this up, okay, so the powder won't escape. And on the baggie for the drops. Let's just stay where it is. And I shake for about 10 minutes. Still a little white acrylics, but because acrylic is really thick, it take a while to get a quint. But um, we can do this. So this is Gamble's cartridge, you can tell. This is where the cartridge goes. Okay, 
plug in into a hole. I'm currently using a Terminator as an experiment. This is the Gamo revolver cartridge. You push in. I was thinking just straight dipping from there, but I think it's gonna color all my stuff. And this is where the uh, revolver rotates. There's a, a, a rubber piece. I don't want to screw that up. So the styrofoam will do. I can zoom in. You know, you can get an idea. Zoom. Okay, got it. So let's try it. I'm gonna swirl it around. Inside this paint can, this uh, fingernail polish thing. A little white, a little powder. Grab as many of that powder as possible. I can probably put a lot more powder in. Feels like there's more white agent on this in the powder. Yeah, I think I should do more powder. Let me go ahead and do more powder. It just doesn't look like I have enough powder. Okay, recap. It's a little tricky because with the base, uh, super base, everything gets really gooey. The original uh, clear coat basically just got destroyed. Um, so what I did is, I add more powder in, and everything can become very powdery, almost like a, how you make bread. It looks like a, a dough with this three together. So in order to bring the quality back from the consistency, back from the um, nail polish, I have to add some isotopin alcohol. And everything now is back to nail, nail polish quality. See how consistent the color is? Uh, let's just get under the light. One second. Let me turn off the light. It is glowing. Glowing a little bit. Okay. So, with the lights off, I am going to try to color the inside of there. I'll try to color the inside. So the trick is gooey, but it's good. I can leave a chunk, a fairly sizable chunk of goo inside of the palette. Let me show you. Let's zoom in. Zoom. Maybe this thing needs to be like this. Okay. You can see it better. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, wait for it to dry. To complete the hard casing. And before we do that, let's do a simple test. 30,000 lumen. Oh, I think that's enough. Holy shit! Holy cow! This thing's glowing like no others. This is daylight. Let me, let me see how bright this thing is. Yeah, it's glowing. So it glows pretty good. You hit it. Nice. So I'm gonna make a few of this and stick it back into the cartridge. It's too wet right now, let's stick it back in there. Let me try. Oh, it's wet. Oh. Let's see. Let's stick it back in the cartridge. Yeah, it's back in the cartridge. It's glowing. So, because it's a 10-shot mag, uh, magazine, seems like I might have to light it every time. And it gives me about a few seconds to light it up really bright and I can fire this. I might have to try one with a lot more powder. Seems like this wears out. It glow it's it still glows. It's just uh feel like it's wearing out. It doesn't retain its property as well as I was hoping. But it's still glowing this thing is it's glowing. I would like to have the similar glow earlier as soon as I have the light. See how glowing that is. Um as much as that. Okay see the bottle. Eight, two, three, one. It's a 30,000 lumen. That's uh, what I call it. It's firelight or something. Okay, it's holding. Closing the powder. I have to try another bottle again. Uh, and see if I can deliver a lot more powder. This might just need to wait overnight for it to neutralize. But it's definitely working. I mean, it's still glowing. Look at that. So, I'll call it success and a new tracer round. Thanks for watching. Uh, maybe see the next few videos. I might have a follow-up on this. Cool. Hit like and subscribe and keep watching. See ya. Superman stuff. Looks like I might be able to do the front too with a hollow point. That'd be hilarious.
squirrel would have to see something light up coming towards it. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Why make one if you can make a bunch? So these cells in aluminum. Holy shit. That's amazing. They all light up. Again. One, two, three. 